So we are still in the course of, of, of um, creativity, systematic creativity, and that is one of the concepts that is really, really nice as far as my experience is concerned and as far as the experience of other people. It's one of the basic concepts of the, of the theory for inventive problem solving. It's the concept of ideality. And uh, it is interesting to, uh, to understand, to learn what, what, what does it mean, ideality, in terms of trees. What comes to your mind if, if, if I say something like what is ideal chair or what is ideal car or what is ideal student or what is ideal professor? So everyone seems to have been somehow having a kind of concept of what ideality is. And uh, actually, I, I made a kind of experiment. I, I, I went to Google search and then tried to find, uh, uh, to type in a, 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 a question, what is, what is ideal car, what is ideal teacher, or what is ideal watch? And it was interesting to get images, what, what Google understands, well, most of people understand uh, uh, by the concept of ideal car. Well, I get uh, a number of... Uh, now you can get a number of, of images of ideal car and sometimes it's Rolls Royce, sometimes it is a comfortable car, sometimes it is cheap car, sometimes it is, uh, well, uh, some fancy car or something like this. And uh, if uh, you try to ask Google what is ideal watch, you type ideal watch in your, in, your, in your search screen and you will get some, well, maybe Rolex, maybe a sport uh, watch or something like this. And if you ask what ideal teacher is, actually you will get a... a a lot of diagrams, a lot of lists. Well, ideal teacher should who should you know um, should be polite, should be uh, competent, and so on and so on. Well, these are these are legal uh, understanding and valid understanding of ideality, what it is, and there are different uh, different opinions on it. If we were able to ask uh, um, about ideal things, uh, uh, philosophers that lived long time ago. Uh, and one of those, those philosophers uh, were uh, Lao Tzu, uh, a Chinese philosopher who lived like 50, 500 years before, before Jesus. The answer would be very impressive. Well, actually, at that time, uh, China was that, so, so developed con concerning the neighboring countries that they, they, were, they could afford thinking about abstract things. They had a philosophy, a school of philosophy. And there were some smart people, and they thought about what does it mean to be ideal everything but the the uh, the most the most critical question was what does it mean to be ideal person to be ideal ruler to be an uh, ideal king and uh, there were there were several schools of philosophy and one of the most famous was the school of confucius but confucius was a kind of uh, paid by the government person so he he developed a kind of list that ideal ideal uh, ruler had to be polite had to be uh, you know to play uh, to play flute, to, to, to be good at swording, and so on and so on. And so he made a kind of specification, a kind of uh, a technical description of the system called uh, ideal ruler. And his opponent, uh, who was a kind of informal thinker, a free thinker, his name was Lao Tzu, and he is believed to, to be, uh, to, uh, to be the, the founder of, of, of Zen Buddhism, a very nice branch of, of, of uh, also ancient philosophy. Um, uh, he said that ideal ruler is no ruler, but everyone is happy, Ev everything is in order. And that the concept was, was really, really amazing. That means, like, uh, let's just think about what, what does it mean to be ideal policeman, for example, that is a kind of a part of ruler. <laughs> uh, uh, ideal policeman has to be polite, has to speak many languages, and so on and so on, but let us imagine why do we need a policeman? We need policemen to make a, to, 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 to keep things in order, right? So when uh, everything is in order, we don't need policemen. So and it somehow you know gives a kind of proof for the concept that ideal system is no system, but the function is performed. And uh, that is actually actually was uh, somehow uh, said by the founder of Tris, Genrich Schuller more than 50 years ago, he said, uh, he came up with a, a, a definition of ideality. He called it ideal final result definition. The concept was a little bit, well, unusual. Uh, ideal system, ideal technical system is no system, but the function is performed. The product appears like this. And again, if you ask uh, what, uh, what uh, 
if you ask about ideality, let's say an engineer, you can get a, well, a, a special answer. If you ask, uh, if you ask an engineer, what does it mean to be a kind of uh, to to have an ideal chair? Then uh, the answer would be most probably, well, it is stable, it is you know very easy to handle, uh, light, and so on and so on. If you ask uh, what uh, what ideal chair means, let's say I don't know. Uh, a manager, uh, he or she would answer the cheap, the cheaper the better. And if you ask what the ideal chair uh, is a student, then student would answer, well, it is comfortable to sleep in and so on like this. But the uh, answer of Al would, uh, would would be, uh, well, ideal chair is no chair, but you can sit or uh, you can perform what the chair is uh, supposed to, you know, to, to have a function of. Okay, and uh, again, I would like to focus that the, the definition was a little bit amazing. It differs to all known definitions of ideality. So, ideal system is no system, but the function is performed. But the focus, the, the trick in this definition is function. Because then the torture begins, we have to define what is exactly the function of this technical system to be designed or, or remodeled or something. And uh, and uh, here on the slide you have a uh, few examples of technical system, let me call it technical system, although they are very simple, not always simple, but, but yeah, like there are, you have a car, you have a watch, and you have a, you have a chair, a toothpaste, toothbrush, and, uh, and a cap. And uh, you have to spend some time to, and you have to work with it and uh, to, to, to define function in a proper way. And uh, if you uh, revisit the course, when we try to work on the definition of what function function is legitimate if there are two material objects, the interact and uh, the a parameter of uh, function recipient is uh, maintained or changed, then there is a function. So if you go, if you go through this uh, beautiful picture with uh, different technical system, you have to be able to answer uh, what is a function of chair? Well, there is a, a little bit easy, easy, easy question that the function of chair is to hold you, and to holding you is maintaining your parameter. Yes, to keep your body, let's say, the distance of I don't know, 50 centimeters from the floor. And the function of car would be uh, to uh, to move you from uh, point A to point B. And uh, the rest is not so easy. What is a function of, of toothbrush? And uh, we, we went through this exercise a little bit before and the function we, we somehow defined. We agreed that the function of toothbrush is A, to, uh, to distribute the toothpaste. And the second is to, uh, to, to, remove, uh, uh, to remove, let's say, food, uh, to remove uh, uh, the plaque from, from your tooth from your teeth, yeah? And it is a function, not to clean teeth. It is a little bit declarative because you have to explain exactly which parameter of tooth or teeth, uh, you know, maintained or, 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 or changed. And the same, uh, the same goes with the uh, ideal watch, the same goes with the ideal cap. The ideal cap is uh, no cap, but the function is performed. And then you have to work on the function of cap. And it is not so easy because, uh, as you know, to define the function of cap, you have to be brave enough to, um, let's say, confess that there is no cap, there is no function between bottle and, uh, and the cap. There is only function to stop water when we have a problem with water. Yeah? And the function of watch is not to please yourself, you know, to be an expensive watch, but rather to tell you time, to inform you. So your parameter, your informness, is somehow changed or maintained, that, that the, the, the watch somehow informs you on the time. Okay, again coming back, the first part of the definition is easy, uh, well, ideal chair is no chair, but the function is performed. In the second part, in the second part we have to define what is the function. Okay, so uh, that was a little bit unusual, and but uh, maybe a little bit, you know, kind of brain surgery, uh, you have to um, you know, to digest it, you have to play with it, but uh, then beautiful things would start happening because then you will you will understand that a lot of a lot of technical systems around us they just you know they are lazy, they don't work sometimes, and there is uh, not such a big harm to remove them from you know from the, um, from from being a part of us, like like a couple of chairs in this room. Uh, they could be uh, easily removed because they don't hold anything and they're actually wasting taxpayers' money. Uh, so ideal chair, it would be definitely ideal chair, but when I need chair, when I make like this, then I have an ability to, uh, to, you know, to sit or to, you know, to hold myself in a way. 
the next uh, would be again uh, i would share with you two mantras let's say two formulations of ideal final result that i find very constructive very nice one is a bit simple it's called a bit of general definition of ideality or ideal final result ideally the product appears itself you see there is no function anymore there is a product so you have to to define function by product because function is performed well when the product appears okay so you can reformulate it maybe sometimes it is easy to reformulate so uh, uh, the ideally the product appears itself the second world, uh, word I like even better is itself itself is a great concept ideality means in itselfness everything happens itself um, the function is performed itself without technical system so we to make coffee ideal coffee machine is no coffee machine but I can brew coffee I can enjoy coffee or I, I can uh, I can uh, uh, some, somehow, uh, if the, the thing uh, I enjoy coffee for is uh, caffeine, in, then I can have a kind of easy injection of coffee in and, and feel, feel, feel great. But without coffee machine, the coffee machine would be ideal because there is no coffee machine. Okay, again, the definition, the first definition, the first mantra is ideally the product appears itself. I should have wanted designer to think of ideality, let's say, or, 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 or the, let's say, of a technical system performing the required function not always but ideally the function is supposed to be performed only when it is necessary when it is needed and only where it is needed i should have called uh, it operation time when it is needed and operation zone uh, where it is needed exactly so the modified and uh, even uh, that seems a bit more i would say aggressive definition of ideality that ideal system is no system, but the product appears itself when it is necessary and where it is necessary in operation time and operation zone. And uh, it looks like a bit scary because you don't need the system always. You even better, you need a system to appear and to perform its function only, only when it is actually necessary. But surprisingly, exactly this kind of restriction, you know, somehow um, gives uh, gives some some um, some freedom to design, gives some resources you never expected, because uh, actually it, it 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 seems like sometimes it is easy to design system that performs required required function uh, exactly at the time you need it and exactly at the place you need it. 